It's 80 miles from here to Gettysburg. 80 miles will decide whether this nation belongs to the living or the dead. Okay. Now. I personally do respect the opinions of all other critics. And I do not like to judge them for their opinions. However, I feel something must be addressed immediately. IGN gave this movie a 5.5. My buddy Spidey2065 gave this movie a 4. Christy Lemire gave this movie a 2.7. And Jeremy John said that this film was a good time if you're drunk. <sighs> well, to all you wonderful reviewers out there, listen, I, I can only say one thing to all of you. You're too fucking nice! I guess you could already tell that I hate this movie. But let me give you a little backstory here, I guess. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter is a brilliant novel written by Seth Graham Smith. It took probably the most influential figure of the 19th century and gave him the backstory of a vampire hunter. As the novel progresses, Abraham Lincoln is pitted in several battles with vamps that coincide with events in history and would actually have it make sense with these historical events, making us say, well, hell, maybe that did actually happen that way. Now it's been made into this fucking piece of shit movie and I want to cry. Now, the film starts out like the book. Abraham Lincoln, played surprisingly well by Benjamin Walker, witnesses his mother's death at the hands of a vampire. He's trained by Henry Sturgis, played by Dominic Cooper, to be a vampire hunter and rid the world of all of them. By night, he's hunting vamps, and by day, he's winning the heart of Mary Todd, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who will one day be his wife. These events would have been interesting if they weren't incredibly rushed and if everyone but Benjamin Walker didn't look bored to be in the movie. Then around the halfway point, the movie decides to just say fuck it and disregard the book in favor of a mediocre retelling with some bullshit vampire king. Okay, the book didn't have one villain. It had several villains through several different arcs. This new villain is a douchebag. Rufus Sewell is annoying as hell in this role. Not to mention, I am offended because his name is Adam. Now that's profiling, and profiling is wrong. Again, about the actors, none of them are very convincing with the exception of Benjamin Walker as Lincoln. This really annoys me because I love the cast. I like Anthony Mackie. I like Dominic Cooper. Hell, I even like Mary Elizabeth Winstead when she's given the right role. But these characters are made incredibly one-dimensional and aren't given a lot to do. Their talents are wasted beyond belief. Benjamin Walker, who strangely resembles a young Liam Neeson, and distractingly so, delivers a very good performance in a pile of shit movie, and a few scenes of him kicking ass with the axe make him look really cool as the character. The problem is, the scenes themselves aren't cool. They are horribly choreographed and directed by Wanted Helmer, Timur Bagmemetov, whose style is so distracting, it damn near kills the movie's look. The pacing is some of the worst I've ever seen. This movie hardly ever takes a break, so it's hard to take in the importance of what's happening in the film. The action, for lack of better terms, has fucking ADD. It needs Ritalin, and the CG effects look like cutscenes from a PS2 game from like eight years ago. It just looks incredibly fake. set designs, huh? Yeah, I think the guys at IGN said it best when they said that 
half of the scenes and set designs in this movie make it look like the movie was shot at fucking Disneyland. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Because I can tell you, there was one fight in this movie where I swear to God, it was being shot in the fucking Hall of Presidents. That's how fucking cheap it looked. Not to mention, a lot of sets weren't in the book, nor were half the action scenes. They took a book that was inspiring and meaningful and turned it into this mindless, lazy action film. You know what the saddest thing about this movie is, is the fact that the original script for the film was actually written by Seth Graham Smith, the writer of the book, but the studios felt, oh, the writer's vision for the movie isn't good enough, so we have to bring in Simon Kimberg to rewrite the fucking thing. If you don't remember Simon Kimberg, he's the douchebag who wrote X-Men 3. Yeah. He made this movie horrible. Okay, I would really... You know what? I would honestly love to see what Seth Grant Smith's original script was. It was probably awesome. It's gotta be better than this. Overall, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter remains a fantastic book. Its film adaptation, however, is a lazy piece of shit that should never fucking be watched. I hated this movie every bit as much as I hated Battleship. So you know what? This is getting Battleship's rating. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter gets a final verdict of one out of five stars. This movie blows. Do yourself a favor and just read the book. You'll have a far more interesting experience doing that than you will watching this piece of shit movie. I'll tell you what. <sighs> I don't know how the hell Hollywood's making this one up to me. I just don't. I, I can't. See, nothing they can do uh, can erase this from my mind. Nope, nothing. Touche, Hollywood. Touche. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war. These brave men shall not have died in vain. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom of the people, by the people, for the people. Shall not perish from the earth. Sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape!